Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how you can easily configure the integration between WooCommerce and Google Sheets. WooCommerce is a platform for WordPress and our goal is to get contact data to Google Sheets when someone makes an order on WooCommerce. I'll do it using the Epiway. Epiway is a free integration platform where you can find appropriate software and integrate it with each other without any coding. Just make a few clicks. Epiway charges money from software vendors and promote them in the software marketplace. That's why it is totally free and has no time limits for end users. Now let's move on to the integration. First you need to sign up on Epiway. After you've done this, go to the tab Apps and add WooCommerce and Google Sheets. Then go to the My Apps. Now you should connect them to your accounts. If you click on the WooCommerce, you will see that it is already connected. Now let's connect Google Sheets. Click the button Plug, then sign in with Google. On this page, you should choose which account you want to connect. Next, click the button Allow. It returns you to Epiway and you will see the green text. Now both services are attached and we can start to configure the integration. Click Create a way. You can give it the name which you want. For example, WooCommerce and Google Sheets. It will be easier to find it later. Here you should specify the trigger. In our case, it's WooCommerce. Here we can see lots of variants of trigger. I choose Order Created. But you can set up what is appropriate for you. And here you can see the link. If you try to go through this link, it won't work. It's only an address to which the data will be sent. Receiving data to this link will be the trigger. You should copy it. Now I return to the WooCommerce and in the Settings find tab API. Here I click on the webhooks. Different services may have this in different places. If you can't find it by yourself, you can ask the technical support. Click Add Webhook. You should paste the link here. Then choose the same option as on Epiway, change webhook status to Active and click Save. Next, go to the Epiway and click Update Available Fields. Now you have three minutes to create the test order. It will be the test data which will teach the platform to receive the information. I go to WooCommerce and do it. Then I return to Epiway again and you can see that various fields have appeared here. They vary in different services. Now let's set up an action. In the field Choose a service, choose Google Sheets. If you connect it all correctly, you will see it here. Here choose Create Spreadsheet Row. It means when you get new data, the system will fill in the rows in the sheet with information. Then test the connection and after that click Update Available Fields. First select the spreadsheet that you need. Then select Worksheet. Here you can have a lot of worksheet, but you have to choose that one in which you want to add information. For me, it will be sheet number one. And the service shows you fields which you have here in your sheet. Click the plus sign for a name and choose what you need here. Name for name, email for email and so on. Then click Test and Activate. If you want to edit this way, you can find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. Now I will create an order one more time to check that everything works. Transmission of the data may take a little time. Sometimes it appears immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. Now I'll go to Google Sheets and you can see that I've already received the data. Name, email, phone number. The integration is working. Using Epiway you can make integration and automate your work without any problems. And of course, don't forget to go to the Epiway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and improve your business process.